afternoon, good evening, or whatever the time of the day it is that you are actually watching this video. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and if you're not, let's do it. Turn those frowns upside down, because that's just how we do it. That's right. Today's video is going to be amazing. Today's video is on the Impossible Burger of Burger King. If you guys haven't heard anything about it, this is the Impossible Whopper from Burger King. I'm so excited to try this. Ah! Okay, let's try this. Babe, are you ready for this? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, so we both just got off work, so we're kind of like, you know, energy levels a little down, but that's okay. So this is it, you guys. Oh my god, this smells amazing. Let's try this. Babe, this one's for you. Okay, and this one's for me. I'm so excited. Sorry. Woo! Um, just so everybody knows, Kenny tried to be tried to turn me over just to be vegetarian. I tried it for a little bit, and it's too hard for me. So I do eat meat. Kenny's a vegetarian. We did everything there was pescatarians, vegetarians. We tried it all. So I want to give you my honest opinion because I'm genuinely a carnivore. That's right, guys. He is a meat eater, and I am not. Um, so, ready? Ah! Okay. So, babe? Right off the bat, it does look like a Whopper. That's good. It does. Because I love Whoppers. See? Go BK. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got that secret sauce in there? Okay. What do you think? What do you think? It tastes like a real burger, so that's a plus. Is it quite a Whopper? No, but I could get by on this. What would you rate it? Between like one and ten. Ten being the greatest and one being not so great. Probably an eight. An eight? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So guys, are ready? <clears throat> Here we go. Yes, for somebody who doesn't eat like burgers a lot, okay, because I, I don't, um, you know, but basically, this is fucking amazing, oh, excuse my language, like, this is really, really good, um, I, I haven't had a Whopper in so long, I'm so happy to have this Whopper. It has a very slight distinguished taste to it that obviously does not taste like real meat, obviously, because it's all plant-based. And if it was that taste could be a little bit more improved, I would have gave this a 10. But on a rating scale of 1 through 10, an 8 is pretty good. Yeah, it is the Impossible Burger from Whopper, or from Burger King. It is the Impossible Whopper from Burger King. Um, you know, it, it does run you about like $6. However, if you go anywhere else to get an Impossible Burger or any kind of like veggie burger, you're going to probably be paying $14 for the burger. So, not a bad deal, really. Um, we didn't get any fries this time just because we just wanted to try the burger and see how it is. Um, but so far, I'm kind of happy about it. I'm going to rate it about 9.5. Babe's going to rate it, you said 8? Let's start with 8. That's not bad, guys. That is not bad. So Burger King, thank you so much for this like chance to try this Impossible Burger. I'm so excited that you guys are actually you know going towards the meatless like meat and everything. So here's to the future. Guys, to my next video, or our next video, our next journey. Where will it take us? We don't know. Keep watching. If you guys haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. If you guys haven't liked my video, like it. Leave me a comment. I love ya. If nobody told you that they love you today, I love ya. We love ya. If nobody told you that you're beautiful today, you're beautiful. Don't forget it. Guys, we gotta go. You ain't gotta go. You can actually watch all my videos if you want. But we do. Bye bye! Me ease that stress. I wish you all were mine. It's so selfish. Maybe I'm feeling myself too much. I